Hi guys, today we have a guest lecturer, Jason, who is an expert in physics. And before the video starts, I'd like to congratulate him on winning his first case in court. Um, I think he's just aspiring to be a lawyer or something. You guys can go ask all about that and check him out in the description below. I'll link his socials. Um, but without further ado, I'll let him take the stage and yeah. What's up guys? This is uh, XNLE, aka Convicted Felon, aka Jason, and I am here to explain uh, quantum physics. All right. Where do we begin? So, the key concepts of quantum physics are wave-particle duality. Particles like electrons and protons, aka light particles, can behave, uh, they can behave like both particles and waves. Uh, an example of this was in the famous double-slit experiment, like electrons fired at the screen, create an interference pattern like waves when sent one at a time. Uh, if you don't know what I mean, this is really basic stuff, and, you know, use your brain, alright? Quantization is number two, that's what we're gonna talk about. Basically, energy is not contagious, it's not like COVID, it's not like the flu, it's not like hose, it's not like for, it's, it's, it's uh, it comes in small packets called a quanta. For instance, light energy is carried in, like, discrete packets, and you call that shit photons. So that's the second thing about quantum physics. Uh, you should understand what I'm talking about. If you don't, you're f Number three is superposition. Alright, we're going to explain the first two in a way that a normal person could understand. So, we're going to put this into terms of... So, wave-particle duality. Basically, that one guy that goes like... <sighs> <sighs> Sometimes he's chill, you know, he'll just sit back and geek and watch Cartoon Network and shit, and then sometimes he'll go... <sighs> he's really fucking hyper, you know? Imagine somebody who does like... ...wired, and he's bouncing like a particle, and the other times he's just like vibing on the couch, you know, like a wave, you know what I'm talking about? Uh, that, that's the fucking, uh, that's the wave-particle duality. They can act like a, a, quantum particles act like a fucking solid object, like a fucking rock, and then sometimes it's in, like, a spreading out vibe, like the wave. That's when you, like, crush up the rock. And then, alright, next that we're gonna talk about in the, the terms that you can understand is the entanglement. Basically, it's like a, like, your ride or die, buddy, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're like, yo, my boy, let's go, like, you know, you, alright, alright, so let's say you were in a, like, a binge, you were in a weak binge with this guy all day, every day all night for a week straight and then like later you know you both are dead basically like you can't breathe through your nose because your nose is all fogged up entanglement is your ride or die when everybody else is calling it quits and you want to keep going you need somebody to be by your side you need someone to blow down with entanglement is your guy all right you in entanglement you're you're fucking mentally linked and you're, you're, you know you'll, you'll do anything you know what i'm talking about they are the same entanglement like if two particles get linked and measuring one intensity and measuring one instantly affects the other and then you both do that shit together and you're a good warrior all fucking night all right all right we're gonna go back to the uh like the nerdy shit so superposition a quantum system you know it's like an electron can exist in multiple states at once until it is measured if you don't know what i'm talking about let me give you some easier way to understand it <clears throat> all right so picture it you're at every party there's gonna a million parties in your area and you're at every single one in the world all right so you're fucking, you're so lit all day every day at every single party you're at the party you're at the club you're at your ex's place and then someone texts Snapchat to confirm where you actually are, and then you're stuck in that one place. It's everywhere until it is measured. So you're everywhere, you're at the club, the party, you're everywhere until someone checks your Snapchat location. And then you're fucked. Next, we're going to talk about uncertainty principle. It is formulated by Heisenberg. Uh, you know, uh, not the Heisenberg that you're thinking of, but the Heisenberg. It's impossible to know both the exact position and momentum of a particle at the same time. You know, if you know one, like position, more than the momentum, or no, no, you would know the position more, then it's less likely that you're precise about the momentum, and vice versa, you know? So, 
if you don't understand what I'm saying, let me put this into easier terms for you to understand. Alright? So it's, it's like when you're on a fucking weak bender, and you're trying to keep track of the way it is, you know? Like, you think it's Thursday, your boy's saying it's Friday. It's fucking Sunday, you know? <sighs> ah, hold on. Okay, I think Jason is tired now. Thank you for that amazing lecture. So here's what I learned from our guest lecture today. Firstly, he brought up the idea of wave and particle duality. So electrons and protons, which are the light particles, they behave in two forms, waves and particles, hence the name of the wave particle duality. He introduces the double slit experiment to show the wave particle duality where you can fire the electrons through two slits, which creates this wave pattern made up of individual particles. This interference pattern shows light being in the particle nature, I believe, which are those individual particles that make up the bigger picture, which was the wave. He also brought up quantization and saying that energy is not contagious, and I think what he's meaning here is that energy can only exist in specific values, not continuous data. So just an aside, discrete data is a specific set of values, for example, the number of students in a class. We can only have whole numbers here, never half a student or a fourth of a student, whereas continuous data is a range of values, for example, height. You can be five feet tall or five and a half foot tall or even 6.1111 foot tall. It's not a set value like five foot, five and a half foot, six foot, etc. You can go between the values of having decimals or being continuous. So with this in mind, since it is specific or discrete data, Jason mentions it comes in small packets, which means quanta. So if I'm understanding this right, quanta is basically the photon building block as a photon consists of many small quanta packets. So many quanta packets come together equals a photon basically. The next thing you talked about was superposition and this basically refers to quantum system states. So in reference to being sick or drinking caffeine and Red Bull immediately after, I think what he was getting at was because you're sick, you can't really do much. So you can't move around a lot and maybe just lay in bed all day, which is analogous to quanta particles act like a rock, just solid and minimal movement, I presume. Whereas if you drink a four shot coffee, then a Red Bull right after, you're going to feel jittery and move around a lot or chill, I guess, like a wave. I believe what he was getting at was superposition essentially describes how a quantum system will act in various different states until measured. So to understand this, Jason uses a good party reference showing you could go to party hopping from one to another until someone finds your location on Snapchat of where you actually are. So this means wherever you are when your location is checked is the place that you are stuck at. So therefore you can go anywhere you want until measured. Then the place that you're measured is where you're stuck at. The second last concept he introduced was entanglement. So this basically means measuring one particle, I believe, instantly affects the other. So where two or more particles are basically linked and the outcome for them will be the same no matter how far they are apart. For instance, if you have a friend in Australia and you're in America, let's say you drink five cups of coffee, then your Australian friend will also drink five cups of coffee and you both will share the same fate of becoming very jittery and hyperactive. So entanglement kind of just means you guys share the same fate, despite the distance between you guys. And the last thing he mentioned was the uncertainty principle, which was made by Heisenberg. And it basically describes that it is impossible to know the position and momentum of a particle at the exact same time. So if you know the exact position, then you cannot know the momentum of the particle and vice versa. If you knew the momentum, then you can't know the position of that particle. And yeah, I think that was a summary of this whole lecture. So I hope you guys found this video interesting and informative. And if you guys want to see more guest lectures in the future, let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you guys all soon.